Hey car enthusiasts! In today's video, we're taking a look at 22 impressive classic cars that you can find on Facebook Marketplace for under $10,000. These vintage rides have timeless style and could be a profitable flip with some TLC. You'd be surprised by some of the hidden gems hiding on Facebook right now, just waiting for the right buyer to scoop them up. We'll take a virtual tour of the used car marketplace and showcase some of the best undervalued classics ready for a new lease on life. So whether you're a collector looking for your next project or an aspiring dealer searching for your first flip, we've got you covered with affordable automotive gold. Make sure to stick around until the end when I'll share my pick for the top value classic under 10 grand. If you love classic cars as much as I do, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. By hitting that bell, you'll be the first to see all my newest videos where I expose the most profitable collectible cars online. Let's get started. Number one, we're diving into a classic piece of American automotive history, currently up for grabs on Facebook Marketplace. It's a 1955 Buick Super, a testament to the era's engineering and style, but with a story that speaks to the heart of restoration enthusiasts and classic car lovers alike. This Buick Super, with its eye-catching green exterior and interior, has traveled 58,000 miles, a modest distance for its age. Under the hood, it boasts a 322 4V engine, a powerhouse of its time, now humming to life off an auxiliary tank. Why? Because this car, a beloved possession since the early 80s, has been in storage since 1999. The seller has taken considerable care to revive this sleeping beauty. The gas tank was cleaned and sealed, the radiator flushed and repaired, and even the carburetor received a cleanup and rebuild. Yet it's clear this car is not in its prime. The passenger exhaust leaks at the manifold, though a new gasket waits to remedy that. It runs, drives, and stops, but with the caution that new tires and brake work are non-negotiables for safety. But it's not just about getting it back on the road. The body of this Buick Super tells a story of past care and current needs. There's evidence of bodywork, especially around the right lower rear quarter, but overall, it presents well. The frame and underside hold up thanks to the original heavy undercoating, a nod to the car's resilience. Priced at $5,500, this 1955 Buick Super is a project, a piece of history, and a labor of love waiting for the right hands. It's situated in Waterbury, Connecticut, and the seller insists on in-person inspections to truly appreciate what this car offers and understands its needs. It's a call to those who see beyond the surface, recognizing the potential beneath. This Buick is not just a car, it's a legacy from a father, a journey back in time, and a challenge for those willing to bring it back to its former glory. Number two, the 1986 Chrysler LeBaron, particularly the Mark Cross edition, represents a slice of American automotive history, blending luxury with the engineering of its time. Priced at $4,000 and located in Valparaiso, Indiana, this classic boasts 61,000 miles on the odometer, a modest figure suggesting limited use over its decades-long life. Its automatic transmission and gasoline fuel type are standard for the era, while its blue exterior and gray interior color scheme evoke a sense of the mid-80s automotive aesthetics. This LeBaron runs and drives well, indicating that the engine and essential mechanical components are in functional condition. However, it's not without its flaws. The passenger window is currently inoperative, a common issue in older vehicles that can often be rectified with some attention to the electric motors or manual mechanisms depending on the system installed. The car is described as having some rust but pretty clean for a 86, a testament to its age and the challenges of maintaining a vehicle's body integrity over time. Such rust could range from superficial to more serious concerns depending on location and extent. Noteworthy features include leather seats, adding a touch of luxury and comfort, and a glass back window, which is a durable and quality choice. The presence of an auxiliary extension indicates a modern touch to its audio system, allowing for contemporary media devices to be used within this vintage cabin. At an asking price of $4,000, negotiable and open for trades, it presents itself as an accessible entry into classic car ownership, or a potential project for enthusiasts looking to restore a piece of Chrysler's history. The mention of it being pretty clean for an 86 inches suggests honesty about its condition, acknowledging its imperfections while highlighting its enduring appeal. 
When considering a purchase like this, it's important to weigh the charm and character of the car against the practicalities of restoration and maintenance. Vehicles of this age may require more than just cosmetic touch-ups. Mechanical systems, while currently functional, may need inspection and possibly repair to ensure reliability for daily use. The seller's openness to negotiation and trades also opens the door for enthusiasts to potentially acquire this classic at a more favorable price or exchange it for another vehicle of interest. In summary, the 1986 Chrysler LeBaron Mark Cross Edition offers a blend of luxury and classic charm, with a few fixable flaws that do not detract from its overall allure. Its condition, as described, aligns with expectations for a vehicle of its age, making it a candid and appealing option for those interested in the era or seeking a project with a solid starting point. Number 3. The 1973 Chevrolet Impala, with an asking price of $5,500 and located in Parma, Michigan, stands as a remarkable example of American automotive history, particularly for those fascinated by the era's distinctive design and engineering. This classic model, having accumulated 69,000 miles, houses an original 355, 7L engine paired with an automatic transmission, a setup that once provided robust performance and is a testament to the engineering prowess of its time. The vehicle's exterior and interior both feature a cohesive blue color scheme, enhancing its vintage appeal and aesthetic unity. Despite its clean title and the absence of significant damage or problems, the vehicle currently faces challenges in maintaining operation. It cranks but fails to stay running, a condition likely attributable to its prolonged period of storage, approximately 20 years before being recently removed. This issue, while notable, is often resolvable with thorough mechanical assessment and refurbishment, potentially including fuel system cleaning, ignition system repairs, and more to restore its drivability. The car's overall condition is described as very good, both inside and out, a rare find for vehicles of this age. Remarkably, it is reported to have no rust, which is an exceptional statement given the propensity for vehicles of this era to succumb to corrosion over time. The solid condition of the trunk and floorboards further underscores its well-preserved state, an appealing aspect for collectors and restoration enthusiasts alike. However, the vehicle is not without its needs, it is missing a few exterior trim pieces and some around the rear window, components that, while not critical to the car's operation, are important for aesthetic completeness and authenticity. Additionally, the tires do not hold air, and the vehicle lacks a battery, both issues that are relatively straightforward and inexpensive to address but necessary for making the vehicle roadworthy. For someone interested in the 1973 Chevrolet Impala, this particular example offers a solid foundation for restoration or preservation. Its clean, rust-free condition is a significant plus, reducing the extent and cost of necessary work. The vehicle's non-operational status, due to its long-term storage, presents a challenge, but also an opportunity for a hands-on enthusiast or restorer to bring it back to life. Given its overall good condition and the specific issues identified, the asking price of $5,500 reflects both its potential value as a classic American sedan and the investment required to revive it. Number 4. When considering the purchase of a classic car like the 1985 Mercury Cougar, listed for $3,000, it's crucial to approach the decision with a blend of enthusiasm and practicality. This particular Cougar comes with a notable history of 90,000 miles, which for a car of its age suggests it has been relatively well used, but not excessively so. Equipped with an automatic transmission and powered by a 5.0 V8 engine, it promises a driving experience that's both engaging and reminiscent of the era it hails from. The exterior and interior blue color scheme is a classic choice, potentially appealing to those who appreciate the aesthetics of 80s automotive design. The mention of a digital dash is particularly interesting as this feature was somewhat ahead of its time, offering a glimpse into the technological ambitions of the period. However, the mention of minimal rust little bit in the quarters down low is a critical point to consider. Rust can be a telltale sign of deeper issues, possibly indicating exposure to moisture or salt that could have affected other parts of the vehicle. It's a factor that should not be overlooked as it might necessitate future repairs or restorations adding to the overall investment. The sellers note that, 
this vehicle has no significant damage or problems is reassuring, yet the acknowledgement of rust, even minimal, suggests that a thorough inspection is advisable to ensure there are no hidden issues. With a clean title and the vehicle being paid off, the transaction appears straightforward, offering a sense of security to potential buyers. Priced at $3,000 with the possibility to negotiate, it's positioned as an accessible entry into classic car ownership, particularly for those who are drawn to the unique character and history of the Mercury Cougar. Located in Lincoln, Nebraska, the purchase would also be a cash-only transaction. A common practice in the sale of used and classic cars, which simplifies the process but requires the buyer to have funds readily available. For enthusiasts and collectors, this 1985 Mercury Cougar represents a blend of classic American automotive design and the potential for a fun driving experience. However, as with any vehicle of this age, it's important to go in with both eyes open, understanding that while the car is described as having no significant problems, the presence of rust and the car's age suggests that some level of maintenance or restoration may be needed in the future to preserve its condition and ensure its performance. This Cougar could be a great find for someone looking to enter the classic car market without a huge financial commitment, provided they are ready for the responsibilities that come with owning a piece of automotive history. Number 5. The 1972 Chevrolet Impala Coupe Hardtop with an asking price of $8,995, presents a unique opportunity for classic car enthusiasts, especially those keen on the distinct style and cultural significance of such vehicles. This particular Impala, hailing from Arkansas and having sat for 20 years, embodies the spirit of a true barn find, a treasure trove for restorers or collectors looking for an authentic piece of automotive history to bring back to life. Equipped with a 5.7 V8 engine and automatic transmission, this vehicle promises the kind of robust performance and smooth handling characteristic of Chevrolet's engineering during the early 70s. The brown exterior paired with a tan interior suggests a vehicle that has retained its original aesthetic charm, appealing to those who value period-correct appearances. The fact that this car has had only one owner adds a layer of allure, implying a history that could be rich with stories and personal attachment. Such provenance often enhances the vehicle's value, both monetarily and sentimentally, to potential buyers. Furthermore, the clear indication that the vehicle is paid off and possesses no financial encumbrances simplifies the buying process, making it an attractive proposition for immediate acquisition. However, the seller's description underscores the vehicle's long period of inactivity, noting that it has been sitting for 20 years. This prolonged stasis means potential buyers should be prepared for the rehabilitation it requires. Despite needing minimal work according to the seller, highlighted by recent investments in a new battery, starter, and rebuilt carburetor, the mention of bad tires and the need to bring a trailer signals that this Impala is not yet road ready. Such details are crucial for setting expectations regarding the immediate additional investments required to make the car drivable and safe. The firm stance on the price, underscored by phrases like, firm no less, no button dollar, no least, I'll take no trades, indicates the seller's confidence in the value of the vehicle, suggesting little room for negotiation. This firmness, combined with the description of the car as a potential entry into the donk game, a niche but passionate segment of car culture focused on customizing classic American cars positions this 1972 Impala as a significant find for the right buyer. Located in Cincinnati, Ohio, this car's sale is not just a transaction but an opportunity to embark on a journey of restoration and customization. For enthusiasts drawn to the era, the model, or the potential of the donk scene, this Impala represents a tangible piece of the past ready to be reimagined and revived. However, sincerity demands acknowledgement of the work ahead. While the vehicle stands as a very solid example of its kind, the road to full restoration will require commitment, passion, and inevitably further investment. Number six, the 1987 GMC Sierra listed for $5,800 presents an intriguing option for enthusiasts and potential buyers looking for a classic truck with a distinct personality. With 130,000 miles on the odometer, it indicates a vehicle that has been used but not excessively for its age. 
The automatic transmission coupled with a gold exterior and tan interior suggests a classic yet stylish aesthetic that could appeal to those who appreciate the design trends of the late 80s. The seller's assurance that the vehicle has no significant damage or problems is promising, especially with the explicit mention of no rust or body damage. These are key factors when considering the purchase of older vehicles, as rust can be a costly and challenging issue to address. The absence of air conditioning and power steering is noted, which while detracting from modern comforts, could appeal to purists who prefer a more unfiltered driving experience. The mention of fast and loud alongside upgrades like headers, a four-barrel 305-350th turbo with a shift kit and a B&M shifter, hints at modifications aimed at enhancing performance, likely making the Sierra more appealing to those who value power and a more engaging driving dynamic. However, it's important for potential buyers to weigh the absence of certain amenities like air conditioning and power steering, as these could impact daily drivability, especially in warmer climates or for those with specific physical needs. The vehicle's location in Fruitland Park, Florida should also be a consideration in terms of logistics for potential out-of-state buyers. The possibility of trades, including motorcycles, other trucks, or street rods, opens up interesting avenues for negotiation, suggesting the seller may be a vehicle enthusiast open to various automotive interests. This could be an appealing factor for buyers looking to make a trade, rather than a straightforward purchase. For someone interested in a classic GMC Sierra that stands out due to its performance enhancements and well-maintained body, this truck could be a compelling choice. However, the decision to purchase should be balanced with the understanding that the lack of certain modern conveniences may not suit everyone's tastes or needs. With a clean title and a clear history of no significant damage, this Sierra offers a solid foundation for either a project or an immediately enjoyable classic vehicle for those drawn to its unique characteristics. Number seven, the 1975 Chevrolet Corvette, listed for sale at $9,000, offers an enticing blend of classic American sports car heritage with a few noteworthy updates that speak to its care and maintenance over the years. The striking orange exterior paired with a black interior creates a bold and timeless look, characteristic of the mid-70s style that makes the Corvette a sought-after classic. The seller provides assurance that the car starts, runs, shifts, and brakes effectively, indicating no mechanical issues at present. This level of functionality, especially in a vehicle that's nearly five decades old, is significant. It suggests the car has been well-maintained and likely received the necessary attention to keep it in running condition. The mention of all new front-end parts is another positive sign, though it comes with the caveat that the car will need an alignment, an important note for potential buyers as it points to a necessary post-purchase maintenance step. A rebuilt 350 motor and turbo 400 transmission are at the heart of this Corvette's appeal, promising robust performance and reliability. The reference to making great oil pressure, whether hot or cold, along with plenty of power, speaks volumes about the engine's condition. Such characteristics are crucial for those looking to drive the car rather than simply display it offering reassurance of the vehicle's capability and performance potential. The Corvette's aesthetic appeal is further enhanced by nice rims and tires, suggesting that the current owner values both performance and style. The phrase miles exempt indicates that the actual mileage is unknown or not applicable, a common situation with older vehicles that have undergone significant restoration or engine replacement. Having been a daily driver for the last three years, this Corvette is presented not just as a collector's item, but as a practical vehicle that's been integrated into regular use. This aspect could appeal to those who dream of owning a classic car that's not confined to the garage, offering a blend of historical allure and everyday usability. For a potential buyer, this 1975 Chevrolet Corvette represents a compelling option. It offers the classic Corvette experience with updates that assure the buyer of its performance and reliability. The asking price of $9,000, considering the car's described condition and enhancements, places it as an attractive proposition for someone looking to enter the classic car market or add to their collection. However, as with any vehicle of this age, a thorough personal inspection and test drive are advisable to confirm its condition and ensure it meets the buyer's expectations. Number eight. 
1980 MG MGB listed for sale at $6,500 presents an interesting opportunity for classic car enthusiasts, especially those with an affection for British sports cars. With 49,000 miles on the odometer and an automatic transmission, this particular MGB stands out due to its distinctive orange exterior paired with a tan interior, a combination that's as eye-catching as it is unique for this model year. The seller asserts the vehicle is in operational condition, emphasizing its readiness with phrases like runs like a top and wouldn't hesitate to drive cross country, suggesting a high level of confidence in the car's mechanical integrity. Key upgrades include a Weber carburetor conversion, alternator replacement, LED headlights, an exhaust header, and a new exhaust system. These modifications are indicative of a vehicle that's not only been maintained, but also thoughtfully improved with an eye toward performance and reliability. The mention of a best driving B experience speaks volumes, suggesting that compared to other MGBs the seller has experienced, this one provides an exceptional ride quality, likely due to the careful tuning and upgrades it has received. The vehicle also boasts a clean title, a crucial factor for prospective buyers, as it implies the car has not been involved in significant accidents or suffered from major damage. The lack of rust is another significant positive, particularly for a car of this age, indicating it has been stored properly or restored to a high standard. The functional gauges, new belt and battery further suggest that this MGB is not just ready for casual drives, but could potentially undertake longer journeys without issue. The custom paint job, described as having a gold flake that's hard to capture in photos, adds a unique aesthetic flair that likely makes this vehicle stand out in person. Coupled with a newer top, the car's appearance is set to match its mechanical readiness. However, it's important for potential buyers to approach with a critical eye. The seller's enthusiasm and positive description are promising, but a thorough inspection by a knowledgeable mechanic, preferably one specializing in classic British cars, is advisable to confirm the vehicle's condition. This inspection should include a detailed check of the car's mechanical components, undercarriage for any hidden rust, and a test drive to experience its handling, braking, and overall performance firsthand. Number 9. The 1987 Ford F-150 listed for sale at $5,500 represents a classic piece of American automotive history, particularly for those who value the durability and simplicity of trucks from this era. With 159,517 miles on the clock, this vehicle embodies the workhorse spirit Ford trucks are renowned for. The combination of a gray exterior with a blue interior might not be everyone's first choice, but it certainly contributes to the truck's unique character. Its status as a gasoline-powered vehicle with a clean title and no outstanding payments adds to its appeal for potential buyers looking for a straightforward purchase. Under the hood, the truck boasts a 302 engine paired with a 3-speed automatic transmission in a 2WD configuration. This setup, while not the most modern, is celebrated for its reliability and ease of maintenance. The seller notes that the truck runs well but needs a little TLC, an honest acknowledgement that despite its functional state, the vehicle will require some attention from its new owner. This candidness is vital for building trust with potential buyers, setting realistic expectations for the vehicle's condition. Recent maintenance efforts include an oil change, a tune-up, and replacements of several fuel system components, fuel tank selector, inline high-pressure fuel pump, fuel filter, and front tank fuel pump, alongside new headlights and bulbs. These updates are encouraging signs of the seller's commitment to maintaining the truck's operational status. However, the acknowledgement of a cracked windshield and a malfunctioning glove box, albeit with a promise to fix these issues, underscores the need for some repairs. The mention of a willingness to consider trades, specifically for a 4X4 diesel, suggests the seller is open to negotiation, potentially widening the pool of interested parties. Located in Gilbert, South Carolina, the truck's geographical context might influence buyer interest based on proximity and the local demand for such vehicles. Number 10. The 1986 Pontiac Firebird presented for sale at $7,500 offers a remarkable snapshot of classic American automotive design, particularly for enthusiasts drawn to the unique allure of 80s sports cars. With an astonishingly low mileage of just 13,560 miles, this vehicle stands out as a well-preserved example of its era, 
suggesting minimal use and meticulous care over the years. The silver exterior with black trim, complemented by an almost mint condition gray interior, enhances its appeal, making it a potentially captivating addition to any classic car collection. The car is powered by a V6 engine coupled with an automatic transmission, a combination that promises a blend of performance and ease of driving. The seller advertises the car in excellent condition, noting that it runs great and most features operate as intended. The inclusion of a Pontiac Monsoon radio with a 9-band EQ CD player, sunroof bag, wind deflector, and cup holder adds to its desirability, offering a touch of modern convenience amidst the classic charm. However, the seller does not shy away from disclosing a couple of issues. The air conditioning ceased to function at the end of August 2023 for reasons unknown, and the left rear speaker is also not working. These points are critical for maintaining transparency with potential buyers, emphasizing the seller's honesty and setting clear expectations about the car's condition. In terms of maintenance, the Firebird has received significant attention. A recent tune-up, new belts, plugs, fluids, filters, and oil, along with a new battery installed in February 2023. Such diligent maintenance indicates the seller's commitment to preserving the vehicle's performance and reliability. The car currently sports Eibach Sportline lowering springs and 17 Andros aluminum rims with Pirelli Cinturato P7 tires, which may appeal to those who favor a more customized look and feel. Importantly, the original factory springs and wheels, equipped with Goodyear tires, are available for those preferring to restore the car to its factory specifications. The inclusion of a new set of Pioneer Dash and B-Pillar speakers, along with a factory Pontiac remote door lock unlock kit, provides an added incentive, offering the new owner an immediate upgrade option. Located in Valrico, Florida, just 20 minutes southeast from downtown Tampa, this Firebird's geographical setting might influence the ease of viewing and pickup for potential buyers. The complete Carfax report and a clear title in the seller's name are significant advantages, ensuring a straightforward transaction free of legal encumbrances. Number 11. The 1985 Chevrolet Caprice is a hallmark of American automotive design, renowned for its spacious interior, comfortable ride, and classic styling. This particular model, currently listed for sale at $6,500, presents an intriguing opportunity for enthusiasts and collectors alike with a relatively low mileage of 93,000 miles and a robust 5.0 LV8 engine under the hood, it embodies the era's engineering ethos. Located in Oklahoma City, this Caprice boasts a distinctive gold exterior paired with a matching gold interior, a testament to its era's unique aesthetic preferences. It's a one-owner vehicle, which often suggests a history of consistent care and maintenance, and it is fully paid off, eliminating any concerns regarding liens or encumbrances. However, potential buyers should note the seller's candid admission of the car's condition. While described as a clean old car, it's clear this Caprice needs attention in several areas. The need for paint, rear fillers, and a new muffler indicates exposure to the elements and possible neglect. Interior issues, such as the passenger interior front pillar plastic and a cracked dash, reflect common age-related wear but require addressing to restore the vehicle to its former glory. The seller's straightforward description, highlighting both the car's appeal and its flaws, suggests a level of sincerity that is valuable in the classic car market. Acknowledging the need for a couple little things underlines that while this Caprice is a gem, it's not without its rough edges. This honesty provides a solid foundation for negotiation, with the seller indicating a willingness to discuss the price for serious buyers, encapsulated in the phrase, cash talks. For enthusiasts drawn to the charm and potential of classic American cars, this 1985 Chevrolet Caprice offers a blend of nostalgia, performance, and restoration potential. Its condition, as candidly outlined, presents a clear picture of the investment in time and resources required to return it to its peak. With its notable features and the seller's transparent approach, this Caprice stands out as a project with promise for the right buyer. Number 12. The 1973 Jeep Commando, particularly the Bullnose model, holds a unique place in automotive history. With its distinctive front end and limited production numbers, it's a gem for collectors and enthusiasts who appreciate rarity and historical value. 
The model you're referring to, priced at $6,500, presents itself as a compelling piece, especially given its claim of being in running condition with no significant issues. For those unfamiliar, the Jeep Commando was an attempt to blend utility with a touch of style, catering to a market that desired robust off-road capability without sacrificing all semblances of comfort and aesthetics. The manual transmission paired with its gold exterior and unspecified interior color suggests a vehicle that retains much of its original character, promising an authentic driving experience that modern SUVs can't replicate. However, prospective buyers should approach with a healthy skepticism. The vehicle's condition, described by the seller as poor, should prompt a thorough inspection. Issues often not apparent in descriptions or photos could include rust, mechanical wear, and other age-related concerns that could necessitate significant investment beyond the purchase price. Driving 100,000 miles, the Jeep Commando in question has certainly seen its share of adventures. Its participation in cruising the coast underscores its operational status and crowd-pleasing aesthetics. Yet, the rarity mentioned by the seller both adds to its allure and complicates potential restoration efforts, as sourcing parts for less common models can prove challenging and expensive. The price of $6,500, while potentially attractive for a running piece of Jeep's history, warrants careful consideration of the vehicle's current state, restoration costs, and the buyer's willingness to invest not just financially, but in the time and effort required to bring this commando back to its former glory or to maintain its patina as a testament to its history. In conclusion, for enthusiasts drawn to the uniqueness of the Bullnose Jeep Commando, this vehicle offers an intriguing opportunity. However, it's essential to enter such a transaction with eyes wide open to the realities of classic car ownership, especially models in poor condition. The joy of bringing a classic back to life or enjoying it in its current state is immeasurable, but so too can be the costs and challenges. Number 13. The 1971 Chevrolet Impala represents an iconic era in American automotive history, particularly for those who cherish the old-school aesthetic and the unique charm of classic cars. This particular Impala, listed for $3,800 and located in Kansas City, Kansas, encapsulates a blend of potential and nostalgia for a prospective buyer with an eye for restoration and appreciation for vintage allure. With 70,000 miles on the odometer, this vehicle promises a relatively low mileage given its age, hinting at a life less strenuous than one might expect for a car over five decades old. The automatic transmission, coupled with an off-white exterior and green interior, presents a classic color combination that resonates with the period's style. The fact that it runs on gasoline, has a clean title, and is fully paid off adds to the appeal, suggesting a straightforward purchase for the next owner. The seller's assurance that the vehicle has no significant damage or problems and can be driven anywhere might initially attract enthusiasts looking for a project with a solid foundation. The mention of a recently serviced motor and transmission, highlighted by the addition of a new alternator, fuel pump, spark plugs, spark plug wires, Edelbrock intake, carburetor, valve cover gaskets, oil, and transmission fluid, indicates a commitment to mechanical integrity that surpasses superficial aesthetics. However, the acknowledgement that the vehicle needs to be restored and currently lacks a water pump poses a call to action for the buyer. This is not merely a car, it's a project, an opportunity to revive a piece of automotive history. The seller's candidness about having so many projects and being unable to complete them all provides a transparent glimpse into the realities of classic car restoration. It's a labor of love, time, and sometimes a concession to prioritize which dreams to fulfill. At $3,800, this 1971 Chevrolet Impala offers more than just a mode of transportation. It presents a canvas for restoration enthusiasts. The investment goes beyond the financial. It extends into the realm of passion, patience, and the pleasure of breathing new life into a vehicle that has stood the test of time. For someone ready to take on the challenge, this Impala could indeed be a gain derived from another's loss promising the rewarding experience of steering a classic back to its former glory while making it uniquely theirs. Number 14, the 1984 Ford F-250, with its robust diesel engine and a black-on-black -black color scheme, is a classic representation of American strength and durability. Priced at $6,500, this vehicle has traveled 156,000 miles, 
a testament to its resilience and the care of its two previous owners. The mention of a clean title and the vehicle being paid off provides a solid starting point for any potential buyer interested in a classic truck with a straightforward ownership transfer. However, the seller's disclosure that the F250 needs a head gasket replacement is significant. This repair is not minor. It suggests a willingness to negotiate the price based on the cost and labor involved in fixing it. The fact that the seller is not in a hurry to sell and is not interested in trades indicates a certain attachment to the vehicle, perhaps hinting at the care and investment they've put into it over time. Despite the needed head gasket repair, the truck boasts several positive attributes, a functional 4x4 transmission, a brand new battery, and the characteristic of being a non-turbo with true dual exhaust out the rear. The absence of a rear bumper in the photos is noted, but the seller assures potential buyers of its existence. Additionally, the seller mentions having a ranch hand bumper intended for front fabrication, signaling the truck's potential for further customization. The inclusion of numerous IDI, Indirect injection diesel parts with the sale is a notable advantage for the buyer, offering a treasure trove of components that could be useful for maintenance or further enhancements. The seller's efforts in replacing freeze plugs and installing new gaskets, despite overlooking one potentially faulty gasket, speak to a commitment to maintaining the vehicle's integrity. With the truck's ability to turn over and fire up, along with a partially complete turbo kit, this F250 presents a unique opportunity for the right buyer. Someone willing to tackle the head gasket issue and perhaps complete the turbo installation could find themselves with a powerful, distinctive truck that's both a workhorse and a project vehicle. Number 15. The 1987 Lincoln Town Car, listed for $2,850 and located in Memphis, Tennessee, is a fascinating piece of automotive history that encapsulates the luxury and opulence of American cars from the 1980s. This particular vehicle, with its sleek black exterior and striking blue interior, offers a glimpse into the era's design ethos where comfort and style were paramount. The mention of it having only two owners, alongside a clean title and no significant damage, makes it an attractive proposition for collectors and enthusiasts alike. With an automatic transmission and powered by gasoline, this town car comes equipped with a plethora of features that were considered premium at the time. AC, heat, power seats, power windows, power steering, and an automatic trunk, all of which are reportedly still in working order. The inclusion of a combination to unlock the doors highlights the luxury focus of Lincoln during this period, emphasizing convenience and security. Under the hood, the car has seen significant modifications, housing a rebuilt 305 engine with a small cam paired with a 700R transmission. The choice to straight pipe the exhaust system is a clear nod towards enhancing its performance, aiming to transition this once family-oriented luxury car into something more suited for the track. Despite these modifications, the seller notes that the vehicle still needs a few tweaks and minor adjustments suggesting that while it may have moved towards its goal of becoming a track car, it hasn't fully transitioned yet. This dual identity of the Lincoln Town Car, caught between its luxurious heritage and its aspirations of track performance, presents a unique opportunity for the right buyer. Someone interested in furthering this transformation or perhaps reverting it back to its original state of luxury could find this project both challenging and rewarding. The price point of $2,850 reflects the car's current condition and the work required to realize its potential fully, either as a comfortable classic or a more performance-oriented vehicle. Number 16. The 1975 Ford Mustang II, listed at $4,999 and located in Vacaville, California, represents a unique chapter in the storied history of the Mustang lineage. With 78,000 miles on the odometer and a captivating blue exterior paired with a matching interior, this Mustang II carries the legacy of a period that is often overshadowed in the muscle car era. Despite being regarded by some as a departure from the Mustang's performance roots due to its smaller size and engine options, the Mustang II holds a special place for collectors and enthusiasts who appreciate its role in sustaining the Mustang brand through the fuel crisis of the 1970s. This particular vehicle has seen ownership by three or more individuals over its lifetime, 
each contributing to its history and current state. The seller notes that while the car does run, it currently cannot be driven due to a leaking transmission fluid issue attributed to damaged trans cooler lines, including where they thread into the transmission. Such a condition necessitates repairs before it can be roadworthy again. However, the inclusion of an additional transmission with the car is a significant plus, offering a pathway to restoration. The need for a new windshield, dash pad, and minor bodywork further indicates that this Mustang II is a project car, requiring time, investment, and passion to return it to its former glory. Yet, it's these very projects that often endear such vehicles to their owners, providing a sense of accomplishment with every milestone reached in the restoration process. Described as a rare car by the seller, the Mustang II's place in automotive history is indeed one of uniqueness. It's a model that reflects Ford's response to changing consumer demands and market conditions in the mid-1970s. The mention of a 302 block also included in the sale hints at the potential for a more powerful transformation, appealing to those who might wish to enhance its performance beyond the original V6 specifications. Priced at just under $5,000, this 1975 Ford Mustang II is positioned as an appealing option for someone looking to undertake a restoration project. Its challenges are matched by its potential to become a cherished piece of American automotive history. For the right buyer, one who sees beyond the immediate tasks to the car's inherent value and the joy of the restoration journey, this Mustang II could indeed become a rewarding endeavor celebrating its unique place in the Mustang saga. Number 17. In today's spotlight, we're taking a closer look at a classic gem currently up for grabs on Facebook Marketplace, the 1965 Plymouth Valiant listed at $7,950. Nestled in the serene backdrop of Pacifica, California, this turquoise beauty boasts an odometer reading of 90,000 miles, a testament to its journey through time. With its manual transmission, this car promises an engaging drive harking back to an era when driving was not just about getting from point A to B, but an immersive experience. Under the hood lies the heart of this classic, the slant six engine paired with an 833 four-speed transmission and a 355 sure grip rear end, offering a smooth yet spirited performance. The seller assures that the car starts and runs good, a crucial factor for enthusiasts looking to dive into the classic car world without the immediate need for extensive restorations. However, it's essential to approach with a realistic lens. The mention of minimal rust hints at the car's age and the battles it has faced against the elements. Rust can be a red flag or a minor hiccup depending on its extent and location, so potential buyers should consider this in their evaluation. Priced at $7,950, this 1965 Plymouth Valiant represents an accessible entry into classic car ownership. Its condition, as described, suggests a vehicle that has retained its charm and mechanical integrity, making it a potentially wise choice for someone looking to own a piece of automotive history without breaking the bank. Whether you're drawn to its distinctive turquoise exterior, the mechanical allure of its slant six engine, or the simple joy of cruising in a classic, this Valiant invites you to become part of its ongoing story. Number 18. We delve into the world of classic trucks with a spotlight on a 1975 Ford F350 Super Camper Special, a green giant listed for sale at $10,000. Parked in Snoqualmie, Washington, this workhorse has traveled 82,000 miles, a modest figure considering its age and utility. Equipped with an automatic transmission, it promises a blend of vintage charm and ease of driving that's increasingly rare in vehicles from this era. The heart of this truck, a freshly rebuilt 390 engine paired with a C6 automatic transmission signifies a significant investment in maintaining its robust performance. The seller has not shied away from further enhancements, including new brakes on all four corners, repacked wheel bearings and seals, new rims and tires, ensuring this F350 is not just a showpiece, but a fully functional marvel ready for the road or to haul a camper with its uniquely long bed and rear axle configuration. Notably, this truck features an extremely rare passenger bedside door for vertical spare storage, an innovative solution that speaks volumes about the model's design considerations aimed at maximizing utility and convenience for its users.
This feature, alongside the truck's setup for dual rear wheels, underscores its specialization as a super camper special, designed to accommodate heavy loads without compromising on performance or safety. The mention of only a tiny bit of rust in the bed, a hole smaller than a dime, is remarkably minor, especially for a vehicle of this age, suggesting a well-maintained body that's weathered the years gracefully. The seller rates both the exterior and interior an 8 out of 10, highlighting a vehicle that retains much of its original splendor, complemented by a beautiful patina that enthusiasts often seek out for its authentic, lived-in look. Priced at $10,000, this 1975 Ford F350 presents a compelling opportunity for classic truck enthusiasts or those looking for a vintage vehicle capable of practical work. Its condition, as described, positions it as a rare find, balancing collectability with functionality. The detailed care it has received, from its engine rebuild to cosmetic and structural maintenance, makes it a standout option for someone who values the history and character of their vehicle as much as its performance on the road. Number 19. The 1961 Plymouth Valiant, currently listed for sale at $4,000. Located in Butte, Montana, this vehicle is a testament to the era's engineering and design, featuring a striking blue exterior paired with a gray interior, a combination that embodies the vibrant aesthetic of the 1960s. With a mere 46,000 miles on the odometer, this Valiant comes with a manual transmission, ensuring a hands-on driving experience that purists and enthusiasts alike will appreciate. Powered by Chrysler's renowned Slant 6, 170 engine paired with a three-speed manual gearbox, it offers a glimpse into the past when cars were simpler, yet remarkably efficient and durable. This single-owner vehicle has been cherished and used primarily as a summer driver, a fact that speaks volumes about its maintenance and the care it has received over the decades. The seller notes that all lights are functional, the chrome detailing remains in perfect condition, and it rides on new tires with a brand new battery ensuring reliability and peace of mind for its next owner. The vehicle suffered from a cracked engine block due to inadequate coolant protection during one winter. The seller has taken measures to repair this with high temperature engine block epoxy, which has effectively stopped the coolant leaks. While this repair is noted to be effective, potential buyers should consider this factor when evaluating the vehicle's condition and value. Despite this hiccup, the car is described as starting, running, driving, and shifting great, which is a strong testament to its resilience and the quality of the repairs. Priced at $4,000, this 1961 Plymouth Valiant represents an opportunity to own a piece of automotive history. Described as an absolute time capsule, it offers the allure of vintage car ownership, complete with the quirks and challenges that come with vehicles of this age. For someone passionate about classic cars, willing to embrace its story, including the repaired engine block, this Valiant could indeed provide a unique and enjoyable driving experience. Number 20. The 1984 Ford Mustang offered for $7,000 is a noteworthy piece for enthusiasts of the model's rich history, especially those drawn to its distinctive purple exterior. With 100,000 miles, or possibly more as the exact count isn't tracked, this vehicle stands as a testament to the enduring appeal and resilience of the Mustang lineage. Powered by a 3.8 V6 engine, it promises a balance of performance and the classic driving experience associated with Ford's iconic pony car. The seller notes the vehicle has been well kept, despite some minor scratches on the paint and some seepage around the engine block. A quip made with a light-hearted tone acknowledging a common trait among older Fords. Such honesty in the description suggests a level of care and attention to detail from the current owner, who also identifies as the second owner of the vehicle. The clean title further assures potential buyers of the Mustang's history and legality, a crucial factor in the classic car market. Describing the car as a classic that the seller truly love loves indicates a strong emotional attachment, hinting at the care and maintenance it has likely received during their ownership. The openness to offers or trades, particularly for older muscle cars, suggests the seller is a car enthusiast looking for a new project or to diversify their collection rather than simply selling out of necessity. Located in Eugene, Oregon, this Mustang's $7,000 price tag listed as OBO, or Best Offer, offers a starting point for negotiation 
potentially making it accessible to a range of buyers, from those looking to enter the classic car market to seasoned collectors seeking a new addition with a unique color scheme. 